There's two quick and easy ways to quiet down your printer. The first way is by installing a silent main board or a main board that has quieter stepper drivers. We did that earlier by putting a TH3D Easy board in both of these printers, the Ender 5 and the Ender 3 Pro. Now, if that's still not enough for you, the next thing you can do is install a silent fan like this one right here from TH3D Studios. The nice thing about the TH3D fan is that they come in both 12 and 24 volt options to match your printer's voltage needs. Both the Ender 5 and the Ender 3 Pro are 24 volt printers. So you can just get a 24 volt silent fan and it's a direct replacement for the 40 millimeter fan on both of these printers. You don't need a wire and a butt converter like the Noctua fan. The other thing with the Noctua fan is they are usually too low of a CFM rating, which is cubic feet per minute. Um, basically it means that it doesn't blow enough air to cool down your system and that'll lead to heat creep and possibly jams and clogs. That's why I recommend the TH3D one. I'll put a link down below in the description to where you can get it. But these are high quality fans. I've already got one installed on my Ender 3 Pro and love it. I definitely want to install it on the Ender 5. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now they're super easy to install. They can be installed in just a few minutes. TH3D includes with the kit uh, two little crimp connectors in or splice connectors where you can just literally splice into the existing wiring. There's no need to solder, crimp, anything like that, strip wires. It's just a simple connection that you snap in and it makes a connection for you. Uh, however, I'm going to be doing it a little differently. I'm going to be adding some JST connectors in so that I have the option to change it out later in the future. Just add some modularity to the system, which I always like to do when I'm making custom printers. So we're going to do it the connection way, but just note that you don't have to do it this way. This is the more in-depth way of doing it. If you're just splicing the fan in place and you're not actually going to be using the JST connectors, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the actual install. I'll put a link to the time of that right below and in the description. Now I'm going to be soldering the connectors in. If you're not comfortable soldering, you can use splice or butt connectors, but I prefer soldering because it looks cleaner and it's actually pretty secure. Um, I'll go ahead and link my recommended soldering iron below in the description down there, along with a link to the quiet fan, the JST connectors, and the heat shrink. There's also an affiliate link if you'd like to support the channel uh, to 3dprintersonlinestore.com. They have a great deal on Creality printers right now, like the Ender 5 shown in this video. So go ahead and check them out if you're looking to grab a printer. Like I said, they've got great prices and they're quick shipping. Uh, definitely a great company to support. First thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and grab our heat shrink. And it looks like I actually have some pre-cut sizes. So what's nice about this kit is you get a ton of it and they're pretty long. So you don't actually need to use the full heat shrink. I cut them in half just like this. And these will do. We can go ahead and set the heat shrink aside. Now I went ahead before and measured how long I want the wires. Um, and I figured I want the connection to be just barely at the end of these. So I'll go ahead and take my snips and cut down the male JST connection. Pretty short here. Just enough to kind of strip the end off of it and have enough room. And I'm going to take a little bit off of this end to compensate. Now I'm going to be using the male connector on this side of the fan. We will put the female connector on the harness side. Once you get your wires cut down to size, go ahead and strip them using some wire strips. Don't forget to slide your heat shrink on uh, and obviously put it on the longer wires because it's going to be easier to heat shrink it. 
We'll do the same thing on the JST side. Uh, one thing that I like to do is kind of create two uh, U's with the wire. Link them together and fold the wire over and twist it once or preferably twice. And what that does is it kind of locks it in place a little bit and holds it. Heat the wire up first and make your solder connection. Do the same thing for the ground wire. No, I'm not the best at soldering, but that'll get the job done. Go ahead and slide the heat shrink over it, and we can heat shrink it down. Use either a heat gun or a lighter to heat shrink that down. And there's our final product. We got the quiet fan with a connector. We're gonna basically do the same thing with the female terminal, but on the uh, wire loom on the side that's near the hot end. Alright, so we got the female connector on the male connector. Now we're ready to actually install the fan. Now if you were just splicing it in, this is the part you would jump to because you would just connect it in right here and you would have your fan ready to go. First thing we have to do is take off our fan shroud and in order to do that we have to take off our easy ABL mount because that is in the way. So we'll grab an Allen key and do that. And our easy ABL probe will just come off and we'll set that to the side. The next thing we can do is pull the shroud off. Now, if you didn't have the easy ABL probe, you would just remove the two bolts holding in your shroud or on the Ender 3 Pro, I think it's just one bolt. Um, you can carefully move that aside and you can see on the inside here, there is two bolts holding in our old fan and we're gonna have to get an Allen key one size smaller. You should have your wires cut if you're doing the connector route already, um, but you do still have the layer fan, the blue and yellow wires, so be careful of that. Just gonna go ahead and remove the first screw, let that fall off onto the build plate and we'll remove the second screw. Once that's out, we can remove the old fan and set that into our parts bin. Now we're gonna wanna replace the new TH3D fan with the sticker facing the same orientation and that's gonna be facing the hot end. We also wanna make sure that our wires are gonna be on the top right corner when we put the fan in place. Go ahead and drop it in and carefully route your wires up. And we'll take our two bolts, put them back in. Don't need to torque these down too much, just a little bit past tight. And you want them diagonal to each other. There you go. So, now we can just go ahead and put our shroud back in place and take our easy ABL mount and put that back on. All right, so we got the fan shroud back on. As you can see here, there's like 
about an inch of overhang where the female connectors here, the male connectors out here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a little bit of the sheathing and that'll let me pull out that female and so that we can nicely connect it. Last thing that we gotta do is just add a zip tie of course. And we'll power it on to see how much quieter it is. A lot quieter than before. So that's how to install the silent fan from TH3D Studios. If you want to see more videos on how to modify your 3D printer, hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up button. If you got any questions, feel free to comment down below. As always, have a good one guys. My name is Alex and this is Modified 3D.